All right, another question of what is the pH of a 0 0.100 molar solution? So again, same concentration as the previous two, uh, but we have C5H5N, and this is called pyridine, uh, and it is a weak base. Okay, so what I've written here in parentheses, that would be given to you on an exam just because this is kind of tricky to figure out um, whether or not it's an acid or a base. But hopefully you at least uh, were kind of thinking not acid because those hydrogens were listed within the formula and not at the beginning or at the end. Okay. Now Ka would also be given for C5H5NH+. So this is the conjugate acid of pyridine. And we're given that that value is 5.56 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay. Uh, Ka's are typically given. So we, we have tables of Ka's. Not very common to find tables of Kb. And yes, if you do internet searches, you can probably find them. But typically in textbooks, they just give tables of Ka. So one of the relationships, and your book derives it for you, so you can check that out if you'd like. Um, but Kw, the equilibrium constant for water, remember 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14, is equal to the equilibrium constant for the acid times the equilibrium constant of the base. Okay, so we're given Ka, uh, we, can, we know what Kw is, so we can solve for Kb. When we set up our ICE table, it becomes clear that we need Kb because we're producing the hydroxide ion and not H3O+. Okay, that's a critical change from the previous example where we worked with our weak acid. Okay, we produced H3O+. Okay, H3O+, is our goal to get to, but when we're looking at any acids, or excuse me, any bases, we're going to be producing hydroxide ions. So it just means that we have one more step after we solve for um, our X value is we need to go from pOH to pH. Mm -hmm. All right, so setting up our ICE table, we have our pyridine interacting with water. And we're told that this is going to be a base, so it's going to accept a proton to form C5H5NH+. And because uh, water is donating a proton to our pyridine molecule, we're going to end up with the hydroxide ion. We put our initial concentration of our pyridine, 0 0.100. That's going to change by X. And we don't know how much our change is going to be because this is a weak base. And that is proven by the fact that we're given an equilibrium constant. If we weren't given an equilibrium constant, you might want to consider it being a strong acid or a base, and the change would then be known. Okay. Sometimes you're just not given a Ka because you're expected to know how to look it up. So it, it's definitely a, a question that you have to ask yourself. So our change in our conjugate acid is plus X, and change in hydroxide is plus X. So we now can set up an equilibrium constant expression. Uh, we also need to solve for our Kb value. So Kb is going to equal to Kw over Ka, 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over the given Ka, or one that you could look up in your book. And that's equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 9. So we can now use this value with our equilibrium constant expression. So we have products over reactants. So our conjugate acid times hydroxide ion divided by our weak base. We end up with x squared over 0 0.100 minus x. And that's equal to our Kb value that we just solved for. Again, we want to keep our life simple, so we try to do our assumption. We're going to assume, again, that x is much smaller than 0 0.100. And so our uh, equation up here then reduces to this. So we multiply our kb value times 0.1, take the square root of it to get x, and we get 1.34 times 10 to the negative 5. 
We then check our assumption. We have 1.34 times 10 to the negative 5, that's our x value, divided by the original concentration, so 0 0.100, and that's definitely less than 5%, so our assumption is okay. Again, if the assumption is not okay, you're going to have to go back up to your starting equation and solve for x without eliminating that one. So you'll have to actually solve the quadratic equation there. So here's what's different from our last example is that x is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration, not the hydronium. So we have hydroxide ion is 1.3 4 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. And take the pOH of that, take the negative log to get 4.87. Then to get our pH, take 14 minus 4.87, and our pH is equal to 9.13.